the bigger my backlog, I'm going to go, oh my God, I got a bunch of stuff there I haven't finished thinking about or deciding about and I don't know what it is and it might be more important than whatever this thing coming at me. There is one quote that I'm pondering, one quote of yours. Are you ready to be ready? <laughs> yeah. Could you elaborate on that? Sure. Well, if I'm not talking to you, if I'm not doing anything else, I'm going to be cleaning up my backlog of things that have shown up in my world that are potentially meaningful. I'm capturing, clarifying, and organizing those and getting that backlog zeroed out. Why? Because when something's coming to me that I can't expect, the smaller my backlog of uncaptured, unclarified, unorganized stuff, the easier it is for make a free, spontaneous decision about that's the thing to do or not. The bigger my backlog, I'm going to go, oh my God, I got a bunch of stuff there I haven't finished thinking about or deciding about and I don't know what it is and it might be more important than whatever this thing coming at me. And so whatever's coming at you, either invitation or, or, or challenge or an opportunity, if you didn't expect it, you're not ready to make that choice from a clear, optimally cognitive space. So that's why staying clear, being present, and doing whatever you need to do to be clear is going to make it a lot easier. You know, I got a black belt in, in karate back in my 20s. And if four people jump me in a dark alley, I do not want 2,000 unprocessed emails hanging somewhere in my psyche. I can't afford that. Where is the fine line? I, I'm thinking precastination and getting ready for what's not here. Because I'm a, a big time precastinator. So right now I know I have 270 emails and that's making me crazy right now. I know it right now in my bones <laughs> because I'm a precastinator. Uh, so I, after this, I will search for one hour. And after that, I'm a little bit relaxed. Um, but where am I tricking myself into going? Uh, too fast, going for fast forward, and where is it getting ready to be present? Because in three hours, the New York Times could call me, and then uh, I want to be ready because they want an article. It's all relative, Simon. So you know, ultimately, um, there's always going to be backlog. You know, as I as we're speaking, emails piling up in my in my email right now. So there's stuff, and, and I hear you, but and. There's a kind of a Zen space, you know, to get to where once you trust, you know what the game is, you can let it all pile up because you know you'll get clean up soon enough. That's fine. And you want to give yourself the freedom to just get on a roll and just say, screw it in terms of all that stuff piling up because I know I will get it empty soon enough. And if it's a real emergency, they can get me, you know, and they'll know how to do that. So there is kind of an acceptance of the game that you never are totally perfect at this game but that because you know the game, you can relax. The game is the process, trusting the process that trusting you know how to right. ninja it down. Right. So, you know, we use the surfing metaphor often in our trainings. So a good surfer knows that they're probably going to crash and burn, you know, on some big wave. But that's okay, because they know how to surf. They know how to get back on the board. They've got an ankle tether that ties them to the board so they can get back on. So that gives them the freedom to take more risks and to kind of let things get out of control. Here's the kind of the bad news for anybody who's really a GDD fan is the better you get, the, the more likely you are to be really stupid and radical and just let things fall off the edge of the world, just following your spontaneous hunches because you know you can clean up. But I think that's a cool thing. So it's really just the game out right there. There's no, there's, no, there's no perfection on this level. It's just how, how excellent can I be about that? What you don't want to do is be beating yourself up about not having that totally perfect. There is no totally perfect. There is also a second risk that I experience. I think I got it. I know now how to do this kind of projects. Now I can take on bigger ones. Bigger I know, ones. I know. And as we say, the better you get, the better you'd better get. Because as you, the more confidence you have, the bigger things you're willing to take on. You know, hey, give it to me. I'll just throw it in my end basket because I know I will know how to take that and then make that implemented. You know, in a way, and I know how to do that. I know how to take anything out there and actually make it happen because the getting things done methodology is actually, actually works. So anything that you want, and it could be clarity about, resolution about, um, a finality about, any of that. And so, yeah, you know, that confidence, 
which I think is really cool. I think we all kind of have that. You wouldn't even incarnate it on the planet if some, unless some part of you said, give it, you know, bring it on, because <laughs> you know? it's coming on, right? 